Hello, I'm Olivia and I'm here with Mana, my core oak. Um, she jingles. She's sitting in my lap and I'm here to bring through a message. Um, so basically, I've never recorded a video like this before, but I've really been feeling called to talk more about my spirituality and to um, be a channel in a way and spread what I'm learning um and yeah I don't know as you might be able to tell I'm completely incompetent and not I don't think it's a word I'm completely not confident in my ability to bring through what people need to hear I guess but I don't know that's just what I, I like really really strongly feeling called to do it so I'm just trusting it might not really make sense to me right now but I've also been getting a lot of messages lately that I should not lean on my logical understanding and that I should lean more on my faith sometimes what you're meant to do doesn't really even make sense but it feels right logically I'm kind of scared to make this video because I'm afraid of being judged but it also feels right to do so in any case i try not to let fear hold me back in life sometimes i'm not very good at that but <laughs> i think also doing things that scare you is very important because they often have really high payback um as long as it's safe like don't go jumping off a cliff without a bungee cord <laughs> you know but if it scares you for a valid reason then maybe don't do it <laughs> what did i want to talk about specifically today i'm feeling like i really just want to talk with conviction even though i do not feel sure about what i'm saying i do not know basically <clears throat> i don't know i just feel like i want to talk with conviction right now and i want to tell you things and just some um, because i'm so new to this and i'm still even unsure of like why i'm even doing this <laughs> i'm just doing what i feel is right but something wants to channel through me right now but i'm resisting it <laughs> i used to channel a lot when i um when i did tarot but i'm not super into tarot anymore feeling like a lot of energy right now and I'm mostly just feeling like excitement <laughs> like my body's like buzzing yeah so I think this message is going to be from slash about God and um I just wanted to express um my beliefs personally which i think it's fine to believe whatever you believe but personally i believe that god is here to help a lot of us on earth to assist a lot of us and yeah support us but i don't think he is the only source of divinity or higher being or whatever you want to call it that is supporting and guiding us but I think he is like a major player if that makes sense like in my head I picture many many different deities or sources of power energy spirits whatever name you want to put to it I picture many in my mind that to me it's like a team to me, I picture like a team of certain deities helping me and assisting me. Some to which I don't even think we have named yet in society. And I think, I think God has probably always been on that team assisting me. But I feel he's very, very strongly coming through right now um, in my life lately. I just wanted to share that because I... And not someone that believes the only higher being is God. Um, 
and I think there are a lot of people out there too that might not even res necessarily resonate with um with God and with that word and concept because you know past experiences organized religion can be well, yeah so I guess I just wanted to say that because I feel like some people need to hear it that basically in order to believe in God you don't need to believe that he is the only one that is what I'm feeling this, there's literally so much preamble in this video and I well, I wasn't planning on posting it, but the more I go on, the more I feel like I should post it. <laughs> and because I just feel like that's right. And because it's so messy, I think that's actually kind of good. Because I think a lot of people are probably in the same position I'm in. Where they're like, you know, when you're first getting into spirituality, or for me, getting back into spirituality. Because I decided to go away from it for some time. But as I'm getting back into it, there's no one else around me who is spiritual in the way that I'm spiritual. And, and you know, I, it, just, it makes me feel crazy. It makes me question, um, am I living in reality? Like, am I just making this stuff up? How am I to know? I fully don't believe that I'm making it up, but it's just a worry of mine. <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of a good thing to show that you should try, even if things are messy, even if you're not even sure of your capabilities. Um, like, it, where I'm at in life right now, I wouldn't say I'm the right person to make these kind of videos. Like, logically, I wouldn't think that. But like I said, it's what I'm really, really feeling called to do. So, and I've been resisting it for about a week now. <laughs> been like really resisting it, kind of coming more into like, okay, maybe I can do it to where we're here now. So yeah, I'm sorry for so much preamble, but I'm also not sorry because maybe that's really what you're even supposed to get out of this video period. And I think that is what I wanted to talk about anyways. The message that was really coming through is that I am feeling the universe's excitement that you are following what God is calling you to do. Because I do feel like, even though I believe in that there's many, many different deities guiding me, or the universe is guiding me, or whatever, I feel like, specifically, God is specifically calling me to do this particularly right now <laughs> and I feel like God is really wanting to play a much bigger role in my life if I allow him to do so which I am trying to allow even though it's scary especially since I personally do not have good associations with organized religion that does not have a good connotation for me so and usually people that, it may, well, at least this is how I perceived it before. Usually people that follow God or something like Christian or Catholic or whatever. And that's, you know, an organized religion. And I used to think that people that were spiritual didn't believe in God. But, um, yeah, now I see it differently. And, well, let me just say too that I don't think there's anything wrong with being Catholic or Christian. It's just not me. So... Mostly, I think I just wanted to get on here and say what I've already said and say that the universe is really excited that you and me are stepping up to follow what God is calling us to do. And I feel it feels very scary right now to think about me publishing this video and I don't know if I will publish it. I feel like I'm supposed to, but very scary so we'll see and, you know in order to protect myself part of me just really wants to refilm this but like 
put it in the most grounded way possible where I almost don't even talk about God or spirituality, but that's just in order to protect myself. You know what I mean? The truth is that I do believe in all this stuff. And sometimes I even feel crazy. Maybe I am crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe other people are crazy for not believing in it. I'm not here to say one way or the other. Because I don't even feel like I know shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling called to make these videos and I'm like, but I don't even know anything. And I haven't even channeled in like two, two years. <laughs> but something that keeps sticking in my mind is I watched this video of this person talking about how God calls on the unequipped. And that just keeps sticking in my mind. And that's really, I guess, the logical aspect of me that is, that I needed to know in order to start this. Because I don't feel equipped at all to make these kind of videos. I don't feel like I'm the right person to make these kind of videos. At least not where I'm at in life right now. Not who I am right now. I just got another message. Because I was just thinking about how, I don't know. I feel like I look a lot different than the kind of people that make these videos. Maybe on the outside I don't even look that different, but I feel a lot different. I feel less put together. Less advanced on my journey. You know? I think that's part of what's been holding me back too, but I'm just really feeling now like God is saying that that doesn't matter and that actually you and me are being called to do this or whatever you're being called to do. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing right now, but whatever you're feeling God is calling you to do right now, God is calling us, specifically us, to do these specific things because we are exactly who we are, where we are right now. You know, I think it kind of ties in with me needing, needing to be messy and needing to show that you don't have to look a certain way or be a certain way or live a certain way to follow God, to believe in spirituality, to make a positive impact on other people's lives. And, you know, this is kind of what I, what I like to create in my content anyways is realness and rawness. And I've been trying to lean more into that lately because obviously that can be scary to, I mean, that equals vulnerability. So that can be scary to post online, but that's what I really have always feel, felt I've wanted to do and I've been called to do with my videos is be really, really authentic and real. You know, a lot of influencers are not vulnerable and I don't blame them for not being vulnerable because I know how hard it is and how scary it is. And other consequences it comes with, like lack of privacy, for example. But I do think we could, the world could really, really benefit from more influencers who are messy. And that's what I feel like I am. I mean, look at me. I'm just a mess. <laughs> but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. And I don't have to shame myself for that or feel less capable or worthy because of that. Because we're all just on our own journey, living our own lives, and that looks different for every single person out there. And there's no part in my journey or your journey or anyone else's journey that is wrong. You know, we are not more or less worthy at any point in our journey. We're, we're just are, okay? We're just different. That's the thing. Sure, I may improve in certain skills and I may get better at certain things and my life exterior on the exterior may look better and even on the interior may feel better. But that doesn't mean I was less worthy at any point before. And you know, everything has its purpose. Even the times where you feel you're being very unproductive and like the time where I was bedridden for almost a year, um, not completely bedridden, but mostly bedridden because 
of health issues. Everything just serves a purpose. And like during that time, did that mean I was any less worthy of love or living a great life? No. No. And, and when I'm rich and famous, is that going to make me any more worthy of love or living a great life? No. Those things are arbitrary, you know? Everything is arbitrary in a way, if you're talking about your worth, because it doesn't affect it. I just think we are all worthy, period. You know? To me, we are all worthy of love, and I guess I would say following our destiny. Yeah. And just living a life that we want to live. I think everyone deserves that. No matter what. Yeah, I don't know. There's honestly just so many things I want to talk about. In regards to spirituality and in regards to just life. You know? And all that stuff. And I feel like I could go on for like a thousand more years. But it's already been 25 minutes. So I should probably stop filming now. <laughs> I guess I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Especially if you watch the whole way through. Because this is me just like, I guess, rambling. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, man. <sighs> but thank you for watching. I As long as you got something out of it, then I'm glad. And then I'm glad. So, yeah, this is just not the kind of content I usually post, but whatever. I will try to post this video even though it's scary, <laughs> but I will try. Okay, bye!